Welcome. This is Ryan Sokolowski. I'm a senior program manager on the ECG CAT team. And today we're going to begin uh, the first part in our storage replica series. Uh, today looking at a server to server configuration, a full end to end walkthrough. And to give you a little visual representation of what we'll be working with, uh, this is a sample configuration of two independent servers uh, with no clustering or anything between them, uh, both with their uh, individual storage. And we're going to be configuring a storage replica partnership between them. So if we jump into this, uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to kick off a uh, disk speed workload for five minutes. And at the same time, we're going to run the uh, SR uh, test SR topology tool. So let's get that running. And then we'll take a look at uh, our servers. Uh, RepServe01 will be our source server and RepServe02 will be our destination. So on our source server, let's take a look at our disk configuration. And we're working with a, uh, uh, at least fairly unrealistic in a production environment, a one gig volume. Uh, but this is for convenience and speed in the demo as storage replica does a block level uh, copy uh, initially so this is uh, essentially for speed and then uh, there's a requirement as well uh, that the servers involved must have an 8 gig minimum uh, log volume so we're using a, a 9 gig volume in this case and we'll take a quick look here's our data volume on our source and we've got the disk speed folder here with a couple of files and then our uh, team logo for the ECG CAT team, and then the Microsoft logo, just some sample files on our data volume. Now, if we go over and look at our destination server, here's our disk configuration. Again, identical uh, to our source, which is important, and the test SR topology tool will actually uh, check for that and verify that they are identical in size. Uh, and if we look at the data volume, we have uh, this temporary folder here, test, uh, test SR topology recovery test. And this is being actively populated with files as part of the uh, SR topology test that's running. This will uh, eventually be uh, deleted. But it's important to note that we don't have, and there it just got deleted, it's important to note that we don't have the uh, image files or the disk speed folder, uh, none of the files on our uh, source data disk. Now, in the, the fashion of a good uh, cooking show, we're going to uh, pull out a previously uh, completed turkey and look at the results. Uh, this will be identical to the report that we'll finish um, shortly. And this is our storage replica test report, and it shows uh, the tests that were run with zero errors and zero warnings, and then the test results. And it goes through first and does all the requirements tests. Uh, it checks the, uh, the presence of the volumes, uh, the partition style test, uh, that they are GPT partitions, Volume sizes, this one's uh, pretty critical that they are identical in size. Uh, file system test uh, and so on, uh, network latency and physical memory and so on. And then it does a, an initial synchronization performance test as part of the, the uh, test SR topology. Um, and this again illustrates the importance of using this one gig uh, data volume for our demonstration as it only takes seven seconds to do the initial replication. Then it shows our uh, destination data disk sync performance times with a graph and, and then shows the replication log size and gives you some nice metrics uh, uh, to compare that based on a particular size of a uh, log volume size, uh, this is how long it'll take for the log to wrap. So you can control that based off the parameters that you use for the size. It shows a, a nice illustration of the uh, replication write I.O. latency 
and some of the numbers there, and then gives you some nice charts on the uh, source data disk change rate, as well as the source log disk and destination log disk performance. So now that that's done, we'll go back here and take a look. And yes, our, our test did just finish. Uh, so we could uh, go take just a quick peek at the latest report. This is the one that we just ran. Uh, again, identical results, uh, seven seconds again. So not much to really look at there. So let's jump into actually configuring the uh, storage replica partnership. And we're going to do that from our source server. We'll just use this same window here. We'll clean it up. And we're going to issue new SR partnership, uh, indicating the name of the source computer and a source resource group name, uh, the source data volume and source log volume. And then uh, the reverse side of this partnership, the destination computer name, resource group, data volume, and log volume. So we'll go ahead and execute that. And this will create this uh, storage replica partnership between these two computers. Now there's uh, three commands that we want to take a moment and just look at here. That's get SR group. And this shows uh, the data that you can see here, the log volume, uh, resource group, number of replicas, and so on. Uh, the sync replication mode uh, default being synchronous. And then we'll take a look at get SR partnership, which is going to show us what uh, the new SR partnership just returned as well. Uh, just kind of the uh, essentials of this partnership. And there's one more command that we want to take a look at, and that's get SR group replicas. And this shows that our, our data volume uh, is uh, synchronous mode and it is continuously replicating. So this is a great indication that uh, that initial replication has already completed. And again, a reminder that we're on the source server looking at this. So... Uh, there's another command that we can look at, and that's uh, to pull some events out of uh, Event Viewer again on the source and look at uh, some of the storage replica related events. And these show uh, that the block copy is in progress, entered the wait for quorum state, and successfully established a connection to a partner replica. So that's all looking great. Now let's grab another command and go to our destination server. And what we're going to look at here, uh, again, are some Windows events. Uh, this one is a 1215 event is what we want to look for. And that's uh, block copy completed for the replica. So that looks fantastic and what we would hope to see. And it says it took 12 seconds to do that initial block copy. So we're going to up arrow, and I'm going to change the event ID to a 5020, and we'll look for that. And that's, again, another great indication uh, that our, our destination has entered the synchronous replication state. Now, I want to pop open Windows Explorer here and show you again. On This is, this is on the destination server, and you can clearly see here that our, our D drive, our D volume, has disappeared and that's because it's been uh, pushed into service as a replication uh, destination volume. So that's as expected, and that's exactly what we should see, is that uh, it, it shouldn't show a drive letter here. Uh, and that's a good indication that replication uh, is, is in place and working. So now what we're going to do is have a little fun with this, and we're going to reverse the replication direction, uh, making the current destination servo2, making that the new source. And we'll do that with the command get uh, set SR partnership and reversing the direction of, of the uh, uh, replication partnership. And it will ask, are you sure you want to do this? Uh, this may result in data loss. And we'll say yes. And we will reverse the 
direction of the partnership. And you can see that our D drive uh, has now come back online here. This is our new source. And if we go over to our destination, the new destination, you can see that our uh, uh, our D drive has has gone offline here, and it shows up in disk management as a raw volume, and that's as expected. Now, what we can do is we can uh, return the replication to our original direction uh, so that servo one is our source again with the same set SR partnership command and just naming the new source and the new destination and we'll say yes to this and you can see our uh, source data volume has come back online here and we have our files in place and on our uh, new, uh, new destination again, uh, we've lost access to our uh, data volume, which is as expected because the volume is being replicated from servo one to servo two. Now the last piece of this is we're going to uh, remove the replication uh, from these servers. So the one command we want to run on our source is this one, get SR partnership and piping in remove SR partnership. And this we will confirm again, and this will remove the partnership for storage replication. And then this next command, we're going to remove the SR group from both sides, uh, get SR group, uh, piping in remove SR group and then we'll do that again on our destination server and now we have successfully removed uh, the storage replica partnership and if we do a get SR partnership uh, we get nothing back as expected so that's our end-to-end uh, -end walkthrough and look at server-to-server -server storage replica. Thanks.